I just wanted to touch on the subject of eating ripe fruit as opposed to unripe fruit. It's a pretty big subject and um, today I really just wanted to mention a few things, not really go into it in depth. The difference between eating a ripe mango and an unripe mango, even just slightly unripe, it's like it's just worlds apart it's a huge difference I don't even know exactly what it is but it's basically when the fruit is truly ripe all the enzymes have been working inside the fruit and converting the starch to sugar and you know nutrients has been has been uh, unlocked basically so everything is much more available and that of course means everything is much more tasty and it goes through a peak of ripeness and it hits the peak and then from there it declines and goes towards um, rotting or you know fermenting and basically going bad decaying when you when you have a fruit and you catch it just at the peak of ripeness it's just a, it's amazing I mean it's like if if you went to a pizza restaurant and they served you a pizza that was like just half baked, would you like it? Probably not, right? It would be like, eh, it's probably edible, but it would be not as good as when it's done baking. And if you had a pizza that was not baked at all, just pizza dough with topping on it, that would be disgusting, of course, and it would be give you a bad. Um, stomach ache as well well it's the same thing with fruit basically when fruit is hanging on the tree it's like it's going through a cooking process uh, it's being cooked it's being baked by the Sun not directly but via the, the, the leaves on the tree which take in the sunlight the energy from the Sun and then use that energy uh, in combination with the water it's drawing from the ground and the carbon uh, carbon dioxide is taken from the air it combines it together and creates sugar as well as of course pulling nutrients from the ground from the air so the fruit is baking on the tree and if you pick if you pick the fruit early it will not only t not taste as good but it will also give you problems it, it might be acidic causing damage to your teeth it might be um, and other parts of your body it might um, lack certain nutrients that uh, come in later in the process and of course it might also uh, actually have toxic substances that are not yet um, eliminated because the fruit the purpose of the fruit is to spread the seed so the fruit tree wants you to eat the fruit wants you to eat the fruit at peak ripeness because that's also when the seed is developed I and mean, if the seed isn't properly developed it wouldn't be able to grow and it would be a total fail so of course the tree wants you to eat the fruit when the seed is developed that's why until that point it, there's toxins acids things that make it disgusting to eat the fruit Yet, most people around the world are eating unripe fruit. And not only don't they know what they're missing out, but they are also getting the wrong idea about fruit. <clears throat> the best way to learn is to get out there and start making mistakes. So just go out there to your local market, look for, look at the fruit and just like just start listening to your intuitive instincts and intellect you know look at the fruit does it smell good does it look good how's the color is looking how's the touch and ultimately how's the taste so just keep eating fruit and over time you get a sense of 
of um, what it what a good fruit looks like and smells like and feels like and tastes like so it's a matter of learning experience so ripe fruit is an essential part of a healthy fruit-based diet obviously eat your fruit ripe educate yourself about what it means uh, to be ripe and how to find the good ripe fruit and I'll make a video about it pretty soon um, so stay tuned if you want to know more about the subject um, enjoy your day go out and play have fun and embrace whatever comes at you because life is very unpredictable thank God <laughs>